Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. This is it the first one of the day in the world? You're, what the fuck is good, y'all? It's your boy Buggy, back with the Full Circle Podcast. Got my guy Juan Whaley here. What's poppin'? It's good, bro. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming, bro. Thank you for having me, bro. I truly appreciate it. How are you? Things are good. I'm stoned. Yeah, I'm pretty fried myself. <laughs> Thank you for that joint. Yeah. He was like, I don't know, I haven't rolled a joint in a minute. I'm stunned. Yeah, I'm used to the roller, the automatic roller, my boy Phil. You know what I mean? He copped that for me when we was in Martha's Vineyard. Where? He made it easy. I like the cones, too, I was telling him. Yeah, you know stuffing I mean? them. Yeah. Just stuff them. Yeah. I've been on the dabs, dude. See, that's the bubbler I was talking about. Yeah. It's an inline bubbler, and it just fucking rips, dude. Yeah. I used to just smoke the butt out of that, but ever since I started dabbing, for real, yeah. it just changed everything. Yeah. So what have you been working on, dude? I love your new project. Thank you. Thank Fire. you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Available on all streaming platforms. Hopeless yeah. Romantic. Out now. Um, I've been working on the next project. You know, I've been working on the next project. I've been working on singles, Word. features, visuals. I think it's time we do a song. Yeah. It's been a long we time We haven't coming. even done one. No, we have <laughs> Never have a song That's yet. crazy. Yeah, I got, we got to do that. We gotta get on that. Yeah, that needs to happen. Facts. ASAP. We will. we will. But like I'm saying, I love your project. Um, you had the listening party, I think, right before we had that July Fourth show, right? Yeah. So we got to see you perform it. It yeah. was fire. It was it was on point. Who Thank produced you. it? Like who who recorded it? Um, my boy Toxic out in Philly. At Obsidian Studios. Mm. That's where I recorded it. it sounded good. Um, thank you. It sounded thank really you. Yeah, good. He's, he's, I like his sound. He's pretty dope. Mm-hmm. And um, as far as the producers that were on the album, it was just like a a mixed group. A couple of different producers. Banded Loose. Um, Sonder Beats. Um, Jay White. Jay White's the shit. Yeah. I got to get Jay White on here. Yeah. He's fire. fire. He produced all of Stoked. He produced a whole album of mine. It was oh, the first crazy. album I ever released. Word. Yeah, it's called Stoked. That's why I never really promote anything. I just drop. Yeah. <laughs> I just drop. I'm. Yeah. I, I was talking to Marty about that. Mozzie. It feels weird saying Marty. I was talking to Mozzie about that on the podcast. How I'm promoting and internet and how it's changed and shit. Yeah. And I'm. I'm. I'm there. I have a project. I'm ready to like push like that. Yeah. But I'm just not gonna do it yet. <clears throat> I'm just holding on to it. Word. I'm waiting for the right time. Word. No, I yeah. feel that. But I can't wait for that next show, bro. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it's it. It's only in a, yeah, it's gonna be September fourth, dude. That's We're my birthday. Fucking rage. Oh yeah, I keep yeah, forgetting that's, that's your birthday. birthday. Yeah. That's perfect, bro. Yeah. Fucking crazy. um It's Beyonce's birthday too. Is it? Yeah. I have Joe Rogan's birthday. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, that means that means we're both desperate. <laughs> that's Desi greatness greatness. and greatness. Yeah, that's that's both of like All the right. greatest. <laughs> that's fire. So. Fucking um so we were talking out there about about this weird thing with what's going on with the virus. And I want to get your perspective as being a, a tech surgeon, right? A surgeon tech? Yeah, surgical tech. So you've been in the hospitals <laughs> during this whole thing, right? Um, I have. I have so for the how, most part. How, how has that experience been? Um, it's been different, you know, like working in the medical field during a pandemic. I, you know, it's, I don't know. It's it's changed a lot, you know, mm-hmm. um, from what it was before. Um, you were kind of just going with it? Yeah, kind of just going with the flow. I wasn't working for a little bit of time. Um, when the pandemic first happened in, what was it, like March, I would say, mm-hmm. in 2020? Yeah. Um, 20, was it 2019, technically? No, that was 2020. Yeah, yeah. 2020? Yeah. I, I was um I was laid off for a little bit. I wasn't working for, like, basically up until September. Oh, so you did, they didn't even have you come in? No. Well, what happened was they had <clears throat> dead full time personnel and staff um stay on, but people that were like per diem or mm-hmm. that were part time, their hours were either cut or they were just furloughed. Mm-hmm. Like they were just like, oh, hmm. so. During that time, it was like really honestly the time that I really started focusing on, on my craft a lot more and just putting a lot more time in, putting a lot more work right, in. Because you had time, which right. is a good thing, though. It's not a bad yeah. thing. You got time to finally do what you wanted to do. Right. So a lot of this thing, there was a lot of good out of the pandemic with people having yeah. time to finally find. Because I've always known what, what I've wanted to do with 
art and shit. But yeah. some other people never gave that a chance. They all just were like, yeah. go to school, go to college, go, you know. Yeah. And then this happened, and they didn't know what to fucking do. Yeah. <laughs> they were all just sitting yeah. there. But at least you were like, now I can do Yeah, this shit. yeah, bro. Like, and, you know, once I got back in in September into the field, it was a little bit... In 2021? In 2020. 2020, all right. What? Is what, it was still, like, it was still going on a little bit. That's when the virus came out. I, I mean, the uh, the vaccine came out, I think, come, like, Oh, yeah, because it was still locked down in winter. Yeah. It was, like, a whole year. Yeah. It's weird to think about that. Yeah. It's crazy to think about. It definitely is. That's what led into, like, a lot more time for me to start painting. Like, I, I paint and Horror. shit. It's, it's fucking awesome. It just added. Dope. I was able to add a bunch of different vibes. I didn't know you paint it. Yeah, it's fun, dude. I didn't yeah. know I liked it either until I did it. Yeah. <laughs> I just grabbed a canvas, grabbed some paint, and I just fucking splattered it. And it was fucking awesome. Yeah. It was it's, fire. It's art. It's, 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 you know, it's, that's, I look at everything as art, kind of. Like, art. Music is art. Mm -hmm. Life is kind of Yeah, does art. life depict art or does art depict life? Does art depict life or does life depict art? I would say... Because art is life. I mean, I guess they're one and the same. Facts. Yeah, it's life is art. Yeah. Facts. So when we were outside, we were also talking about... I just spaced the fuck out so hard, bro. <laughs> I just <laughs> I just spaced uh, out so hard thinking about that shit. Fucking um so what else do you what else are you looking forward to, bro? Do you have any other shows lined up? Um right now I have the show lined up that we have on September 4th. Mm -hmm. Um I also have a show tomorrow. Nah, I wear. Yeah, Red Dwarf Studios. Oh, word. Yeah. Um it's it's actually a live show. It's a live show. So it's gonna be a live stream. So tomorrow, mm -hmm. tune in. Is there gonna be a crowd there? Or um, is it just only being streamed? No, it's only being streamed. I haven't been there in a while. I love that place. Yeah, that place is dope. It's a good vibe. Last time I was there I sold my PS four to someone in the parking lot. Oh shit. It, it was a sad day. I was sad to do that. Damn. But shout out to homie who did that because he gave me an ounce of weed too. That's so, dope. That was a nice little comment. I asked for 200 and he was like, I know this means a lot oh, to you, man. man. I was like, he's like, I know this means a lot to you. So here's this too. It was fucking awesome. Damn. <laughs> that was cool. Because weed means a lot to me, man. Like marijuana, if someone presents that as a gift, that is like... That's a nice gift. Yeah, that's, that's like a good all gesture. you should do. I remember like <laughs> people like, yo, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for your birthday? Weed. Just buy me some weed. Yeah. Some nice weed from whoever you can get it from. I've been trying to stop smoking, bro. It's just good. Everything's better when you're stoned. I, I, it is. It is. But at the same time, yo, like, this year, like, is the first year where I've actually, like, took in a period of not smoking. Like, I, I, was, I wasn't smoking for, like, a month. And... It was dope, bro. I kind of I kind of appreciate it. Got more like, energy and shit. Yeah, I had a little bit more energy. At first it was a little bit tough. I couldn't really like it was hard to sleep. You know what I mean? Cuz I felt like at one point I started Well, that's the thing, dude. It is so hard to sleep when you when you first stop, dude. Yeah. That's the th that's why I started smoking for real. Like I never really had sleep. I I would always I'm so hyperactive. And I'd never slept like a lot as a kid. Yeah. So the second I found weed when I was 13 and I could finally sleep, I finally had an appetite to eat food. Yeah. It was just like, all right, this is this is what I'm doing. Yeah. And that was like a reason I stopped playing sports too because of weed. And they were testing yeah. for it. Yeah. And at that time, it yeah. was like fucking blasphemy. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird how it's just legal now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, all, the, all the people that have gotten locked up and... You know, taken away from their families because of it, and now people are just and they're not pardoned. Up. They're not pardoned yet. Yeah, they're pretty much just still sitting in the cell. They did just say the other day that a lot of pending cases got canceled, but that hasn't fixed all the motherfuckers in jail still. Yeah, yeah, that like, shit is crazy. That was the scariest thing back in the day, driving with weed. 
Yeah, bro. When I was 18, I was like, all right, what? who has the less, the least yeah, sketchy car? I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I still feel like I kind of have PTSD. Like, anytime yeah. I have weed now, I, sometimes I'm like, yo, I'm so paranoid. And people remind me, like, yo, it's legal. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> You're like, why am I bugging out? Yeah. And that's the same thing with, like, uh, the older generation. They're like, put that out. Don't smoke that shit around here. Like, dog, like, it's legal now. It is a weird thing to comprehend. Yeah. I guess my thing is like I want to have I I I want to have that feeling of a uh, of peace that comes with like being naturally high too, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Well, like for shows and shit when I perform, I don't like I don't get like super drunk or stoned. I right. like to do that sober. Yeah. That's like the one thing I do sober is perform yeah. because I want to like really feel that adrenaline. Like I said this right. morning I woke up super tired i only got like an hour of sleep or like no like two hours of sleep but when i woke up i was still like running off of the adrenaline and energy from the night before yeah. last night specifically yeah. but then obviously a couple hours later i fucking crashed dude that was the second show i've drummed since the pandemic and dude my hip flexors are so sore right now my neck everything is just like my whole body is one big fucking stiff board right now. Damn. That shit is so fun, bro. Drumming compared to rapping, it's like, it's such a different, so different, bro. Yeah. I, I don't have to say a word. Whereas otherwise, I'm like, da 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 Right. Or drumming, I'm just like fucking literally beating the shit yeah. out of fucking things. It, it feels so good, dude. Have drumming. you ever played rock band and Guitar Hero and shit? You know what? I never have. What? I never have. That's how I learned how to play drums. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Everybody's what? like so shocked when I tell them that. But it's like for Guitar Hero, I could get it. But Rock Band is like it's realistic. You know that's, what I mean? That's just dope to be able to say that. that like <laughs> like you know, a, video game. From a video game. Yeah. Facts. And they, they about, try to say you can't learn nothing from <laughs> Talk about game. earlier like about Grand Theft Auto. My mom not knowing that like when I was a kid what she was buying me. Yeah. But little did they know like the same thing with that. You could say the same thing. You're playing a video game. Why don't you play a real instrument? Well, that shit taught me. Really had a drum, That's you know crazy, what I mean, without man. doing anything else. Drum yeah. is like riding a bike, though. That It's like kind of easy. If you yeah. have like a flow and you can do, if you can bob your head, you can drum. Yeah, I you play trumpet. I mean? No way. Yeah. That, shit's, play trumpet. that shit's hard, dude. Yeah. And trombone. Because you got to go like. Shit, like right? I, I remember the melody. I can't remember the name of the song, but it was like. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Is that. Like tequila. Burn, 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 na, na, na. Yeah, tequila. Is that, <laughs> that, that one. I think that's that. Yeah, that's tequila. Tequila. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, that's that's what hilarious. Play. I used to play saxophone back in the day. Oh, that's dope. I really want one. It was, uh, it was, I was in band. In school. I was in band and choir. Mm-hmm. It's funny how you were like, that was like considered like the dork stuff to do. Right. But that shit actually is valuable. It is. They took those classes for like for real out of school. They made it like an yeah. extracurricular, not like a not like a regular thing. Yeah. It's weird, man. The schooling system's weird. I was talking about all this la- like last week. It is. Home, it is. How they just breed us to be like nine to five slaves. I mean, and they shit. try to. Some people uh, say it's like the pipeline to prison, man. It is, and that's like that's um. I was just talking about Adderall and um. Ritalin, yeah, Adderall and and fucking Concerta. Um, fucking uh, how Simone Biles, how she dropped out this year, yeah, and um, she was prescribed Adderall, and she was t- she took it in the 2016 Olympics, and she's obviously very talented, but she was allowed to take it. Then her medical records got leaked, and in Japan, you're not they're not allowing them to take Ritalin and Adderall and shit. They only allow oh, what'd you say. Shit. Concerta. Concerta. I think that's all they allow there. Oh, sure. And, and, and I, I'm, I forget which one they allow, but they don't allow it. So I think she backed out because she wasn't didn't have that in her system. And it's obviously a, like a, it's a, definitely an enhancer because it enhances your focus. It's yeah, fucking Ritalin. It's, meth, right. it's methamphetamine for sure. And I only can say this from experience because here I fucking go. It's a fucking experiment that they did on my generation of kids and everyone after because under yeah. the definition of ADD and ADHD, everyone has it. Yeah. So just like we're talking right it's now, an and you see me, I'm sitting here doing this folding, that's considered ADHD. Yeah. I should be on Ritalin. Yeah. That would make me like a fucking robot, which yeah. it did. 
in seventh grade, I went to I went to the doctor just to. I don't even know why I went to the doctor. The teachers probably said it, and my mom yeah. was like, "Okay, let's do it." Yeah. And yeah. the test was I had to read a paragraph out loud, and in class I was the best reader. I raised my hand when they like someone read a paragraph. You know how that shit was. Yeah. It was weird hearing people that can't read good. Yeah. So I focused on reading quick and efficient, yeah. not w- retaining the information. So when I read the paragraph at the doctor's office, he's like, what'd you read about? I was like, a bird. He's like, what color was the bird? I was like, oh, shit, I don't know. It said I was, it was a bluebird. And he was like, okay, you deserve Adderall. Wow, bro. That's really and in seventh crazy. grade, I got prescribed Adderall. Yeah, in seventh grade, and bro. That's not even for, early. For four months, I was a fucking robot, bro. Oh, my dude lost. For four months, I was a robot. And then you were able to get off. I, well, dude, I was getting I was getting straight A's, and but I didn't have an appetite. I barely slept. I had no personality. I didn't yeah. like. I didn't care about anything. I was just doing what I was told. And then I, I didn't like it, and I mentioned it. I think. And mm-hmm. then when I stopped, when I stopped taking it, I finally got back into it. And about and that was I. I did it the the second half of seventh grade, then eighth grade came, and then the summer of eighth grade going into ninth is when I smoked weed for the first time. Yeah. So that's when I like saw the the big farm is a lie. I saw that marijuana, the reefer madness, all this shit. Now I wasn't about to go do no fucking cocaine and shit, but I was at that age. I was like, okay, this is that. I know alcohol is bad. I didn't even drink for the first time until I was like eighteen. I had one moment yeah, where I bro. tried to, but it didn't. Like, I didn't drink for real. So, like, I learned... I, I became, like, I guess, a conspiracy theorist at that age. Like, saying, fuck, being a, re- a, re- a rebel towards what is normal. Like, drinking at Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween. Yeah. New Year's. All the time. Football games. Basketball games. <laughs> concerts. All year round. Weddings. The weekends. Funerals. All right. Weekends. Wednesdays. Holiday. <laughs> like, Mondays off. Tuesdays. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's get brunch. Thursdays. <laughs> like, <laughs> Let's go dude. taste some wine. Oh shit, the stock crash. Let's go drink. Like anything, bro. So After I, work. Seeing that from a, as a little kid and, and how I and weed was just so fucking frowned upon. I was like, nah, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. They don't allow you to smoke weed in sports. I'm not doing that. The coaches yell at you too much, suck a dick. Everyone's yeah. smacking each other's butts too. It was pretty weird. <laughs> yeah, who started bro. that who was the first yeah, person in sports like weird. good game yeah. who was the first person to do that yeah, i don't know because what you got to think about this though when little kids playing it and coaches doing it to little kids oh shit so you know about pizzagate and all that weird shit right pizzagate was the like with jeffrey epstein and all that other yeah. shit and the pedophile ring and shit yeah, uh, hollywood's Clinton a pedophile and... thing tiktok yeah. is like a pedophile app yeah. you know what i didn't think about Facts, so if this is the case if if the things are being run by like undercover societies that are based off pedophilia type shit yeah because about the catholic churches and all that shit if this is the case they can they own everything right, right. the gmo foods we're eating the content they shove down our throats right this means that they own the companies. They own the Instagrams. They own the Snapchats. They don't own them, but they oversee all the content they in do. it. Right. Which means, think about, because when I was 13, I was getting my girlfriend to send me titty pictures, 13 years old to 13 years old. That's not pedophilia. But the people who own it and are seeing the information are getting nonstop free pedophilic content because kids are sending it over these things and if the people running shit are that then they're getting all of it blows my mind didn't even think about it like that Man, neither did I. that 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 blows my mind because all of our information is going up to big brother to the cloud yeah so in terms of creepy shit because i remember when the yeah. internet came out and my dad was sketchy about it my dad was like don't put any of your info online don't put your name don't put where you live yeah. but now you can't do anything online unless you fucking say you they, to... they didn't reel to everybody in bro it's yeah it's crazy. so so like as far as a vaccine tracking us that's not it they've been tracking us on phones right. and shit so it's not yeah. even it's not even about that that's why like i was saying like a war 
of like millions dying at once wouldn't happen of of like troops from another country coming or bombs and shit. It would just be turn off our power. That's it. Turn off our power, we're done. Don't even turn off the power. Turn off the fucking network like that we can't even communicate. If you do that, we're fucked. <laughs> like mm. it's crazy to think about this shit. So in a situation that we're in, people clamored for toilet paper. <laughs> people ran and the next day they were yeah. filled again. So people freaked out for no reason. Like Yeah, that shit was crazy. Like, yo, what are y'all gonna do? What's the first thing you're gonna do when this shit hits? I'm getting toilet paper, bro. Fuck out of here, dude. Water's water's being traded on the market now too. Yeah, water's tradable. It's nuts. So like I was saying outside too, we we've, we've never like this water that we're drinking right now, it's crystal clear. Like humans forever were drinking out of like rivers and shit like that. Not crystal clear like like what without purifiers and without like is this even water? <laughs> what did they purify? <laughs> we don't fucking know. There's yeah. I you mean, gotta, people, gotta get most your hydration from fruits and drink shit. Like electrolyte water now and what electrolyte with, mineral, with minerals in it. Electrolyte, and, my ass. Fruit, bro. But now they got GMO fruit. Yeah, they got a lot of GMO fruit. So like, what? I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. All we can do is discuss this and try to figure it out. Yeah, I went vegan back in uh Are you February, strictly vegan? March, yeah, I'm vegan. How's it been? Vegan. It's been good, bro. It's been good. I definitely got a lot more energy. I lost a little weight in the beginning, but then my weight kind of like regulated. Um, at first, I didn't really know what to eat, but I definitely... I, my mom went vegan, too, so she's been helping me as far as... Um, I have a lot of friends who did it. Yeah. Can't do it, man. I want to, but I, I'm like I'm trying. I'm really trying. Yeah. I'm trying not to eat bread. I did good with the sweets because I'm a fucking sucker for um for like cookies and shit. Yeah, so it's my weakness. Yeah. So I stopped that. Now I need to stop trying to eat bread. You gotta try the vegan cookies, bro. Vegan cookies. Yeah, I'm just as good as hell. Uh, what is it? Some oatmeal raisin or some chocolate oh, chip all right, ones. All right, word. I mean, there's probably a little bit of everything. But sugar, dude. Sugar's the number one killer. Talking sugar about everything we're talking is, about, yeah. sugar is the number yeah, one killer. Yeah, for sure. And we're not even... Dude, it's crazy to think about this shit. Like, um, as far as population controls, talking about the virus. Like, there's a lot of other things that are worse that have been happening that we haven't even confronted like the fake food that we're eating, bro. It's crazy. And now yeah, they're finding man. like specks of plastic in like all the fish they catch. Yep. yep. Because of how fucked up because the how ocean fucked is. Because how fucked up the ocean is, bro. Because of the, yeah. And it comes from. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, so it's like, how could you really trust and do what you did? That would mean we would all have to have our own mini farms. But that's not sustainable, you know? So shit's in a weird spot. And then you hear that they're, like, telling farmers to destroy their crops. You didn't see that? They're, te- mm. they're paying farmers. The government is paying farmers to destroy their crops. Why? Because they're, like, trying to plan a food drought. It's crazy. And the only reason we can see all this shit is because of the internet. <laughs> like, we can, like, watch in real time what's happening all over the place. And it's, like... It's made this shit really easy to see and piece together who is who. And we confront it and get called crazy. Yeah. Pe- people would, you, you know, people are so much more comfortable with a comforting lie versus like a, a hard truth, you know? I can't do that. And, and a lot of people don't want to take that responsibility to say, like, to, to make a difference. They'd rather just stay comfortable with, you know. That makes me so sad. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Because, like, I mean, I guess that, that's, like, the matrix, the red pill or the blue pill. Like, would you rather know the truth and never go back? Or would you rather live in, like, a, a comfortable lie, like you said? Right. And, like, as far as, like, enjoyment, I guess the comfortable lie is the way to go. <laughs> but But when you're in the comfortable lie, you don't know you're in the comfortable lie. That's the thing. No. Nah. So that's the evil trick about it. Because those people are actually defending their own demise, you know, in that sense. 
it's really weird. It's I always dig into the psychology of this shit because it's interesting to see how people will turn on themselves and not even realize it. They yeah. think they're battling me and you and them. They're battling themselves, which is obviously battling us. It's mm. crazy. That's why that statement is really deep with the one Jordan Peterson said, like, you want to change the world, start by making your bed. It's a very stupid statement. And like, I know a lot of people who think it's retarded. Nah, but, but that's some real shit. I feel, like, I feel like... I feel like with everything that we do from the moment that we wake up, it's it, it has a ripple effect in the world, you know what I mm-hmm. mean? Like it they almost say like, yeah, if you go to work and somebody's in a bad mood and then they treat that next person bad and that next person bad and it's a chain, and a it's chain, a chain effect and then eventually at the end of the day the cat gets kicked, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. like I feel like it's it's the same thing with positive things and just trying to impact the world in the best way that you can it's but energy it starts with self too you know well how are you feeling when you wake up in the morning and what well, the first thing everyone does is go on the front now so yeah. we're seeing things that we naturally wouldn't ever see right like right, whereas right, right. even 20 years ago turning on the tv you'll see everyone saw the same news but when you wake up now you're seeing like ads and other shit that like are programmed to that they think you will enjoy yeah. to try and keep you on the phone right like it's literally designed like that now whereas eight years ago it wasn't it was like okay i'm on the phone and i want to do this how do i get it i gotta find it now you type in anything and it's suggesting a thousand things you don't want and it's it's really weird and it's playing a major role in how things are getting created and that's why art is the where it is it's like Everything's just copy and paste because it's marketable mm-hmm. and they know what sells and it's only selling because it's shock value. But like, there's a point where the the masses have got to wake up and be like, yo, this is fake. I'm done watching reality TV with scripted actors. I'm done watching the same rappers jump up and down yeah. and not say one word during their performance uh. off tempo off key it's, it's crazy because it's like it's it, i mean honestly it's the same thing as like fast food bro same thing with that it's the bad. same thing as fast food and not getting something that really that that the time was taken to really the love was put into it the yeah same it's just wa- boop, 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 right boop. it's the same thing with the microwavable music i feel like it's the same mm-hmm. thing with you know the things you were speaking on, and and I don't know. People get addicted to it, bro. Look, I mean, we're the we biggest addicted to fast food. We're the fattest to all that shit. nation. We're the most mm-hmm. unhealthy nation, and it's easy. It's mm-hmm. easy. You know what I mean? That's well. I-, I went on a bad binge the last two weeks. Like I was just ordered DoorDash fast food. Like and and mm-hmm. I know I'm very conscious of it. I'm very aware. Yeah, but. It's like I need this right now. It's like we're pro. It's, it's we were raised. Well, we were man. raised on Happy Meals, bro. We were raised on cereal. We were raised on like needing that fake sugar. So like now we crave the Yo. shit that's killing us. Yeah. Just like I just said about the psychological, food wise, we're doing the same physically exact thing. Too. We're physically doing it, yeah. not working out, not, not going in the sun a lot, yeah, not getting, not drinking real water. I don't even know. Not hydrating ourselves through fruits and shit. You know, we're depending on chugging three gallons of water. Like, that doesn't... Like, I, my buddy told me the other day, I can't wait to get him on the podcast. He was like... I, I said this to him. Because uh, he's he went super yogi with it. Went to India for a year. That's dope. Like, he really wow. went in depth of his I think his you were body. talking about that. And I was like, dude, about this fast food, I don't know what to do. I can't stop eating this shit. Like, I'm very, I just, like, I told you what I just told him. I'm very aware of it. I can't stop. Like, I need your help. Like, what yeah. would you suggest you need, me to you do? You need other options. And he man. said, breathing. Or. And he was like, when you're conscious of your breathing, you'll be conscious of what foods make it harder to breathe. And then you'll realize how much it affects your day to day. That's some real shit. So I was like, oh, nothing about water. He was like, no, water, but make sure you hydrate through fruits, not water. Because the water that we're drinking now isn't sustainable. Like, it's cool to get us through, but it's not nourishing us, you know, replenishing us like like fruit would. So when he said those two things, I was like, you have no idea how much that helped. Because I work out every day. I'm very good on that as far as discipline, but the food is what I'm bad with. I'm bad with the food and that. So, and what I'm bad with working out is stretching. I stretch, but I need to stretch a lot more. And that entails in breath work. Stretching is breathing. And, yeah. 
and control. So if I add the breathing daily into that, I think uh, I think it'll help. I haven't tested it yet, so I'm going to start Monday because I have shit I got to do. Well, actually, the show got canceled because of a fucking thunderstorm. So yeah, I'll start it tomorrow. Yeah. In the fucking rain, I'll do that shit. Uh, Be weird. <laughs> I'll go nah, back in the that's, rain. That's Be good. Weird. That's good. Facts. But yeah, the breath I'm work. Ha- like it, when I saw your face when I said that, that's yeah. how I reacted. I was like, yeah. oh, never thought of that at all. The breathing. No, nah, that helps with a lot, man. Mm-hmm. Going fully in your diaphragm, not just to hit a dab. Like, because the only time yeah. I take a deep breath is when I'm hitting a dab. <laughs> man. So and that's like just filling my lungs with. Or meditating. Meditating is, I'm so hyperactive. It's very hard. I haven't even gotten on that level of trying it yet. Like, I haven't even tried. I meditated when I was tripping once, but I was tripping. So I was pretty much just sitting there. I was already locked in. Yo, it ain't nothing to it, man. Just be free with it. Even if you're not doing it perfect, it's it's still still an experience, you know? See where your mind goes. I've noticed that everything I do, the second, like, no matter what I'm doing... On my phone or my iPad, like when I'm shaving, mowing the lawn, working out, I don't listen to music. I, I'm listening to other podcasts and shit. I'm listening yeah. to other psycho- psychologists talk about what they think things are, yeah. you know, as far as anything, atom, right. gravity, flat earth, all of it. Yeah. Like I listen to everything yeah. just to, but I'm never in a moment because I'm like that where it's just silence. Yeah. So meditation for, because I'm a musician, meditation for me is a hard thing mm. to even just sit and do. So I should do that. If I can tap into the yogi buggy, I think I'll be able yeah. to concentrate on the food and yeah. be more disciplined. Because then the, it, it allows you to put that strict attention on anything now. You know yeah, what I mean? I'm going I'm to put that to the test. I'm going gonna, I'm mm. gonna to do, by the next podcast, I'll mention it, how the breath, breath work is going and shit. Yeah, it's gonna work. It's yeah. gonna work. Hell I already yeah. know. I already know it's gonna work. That's the thing. I already know what's to what needs to fucking do to help me. Yeah. And I don't want to yeah, do it. That's the crazy I want to I want to taste a fucking Big Mac, not a Big Mac. It's just, just an example, but I want I want that flavor, you yeah. know? I already know eating celery and all that's going to help, you know? And we still don't do it. Me and my boy Hendo were talking about it. It's like we have two voices in our head. Like yeah. one of us is telling fucking murder everybody and the other one is telling us hug everybody. It's super weird. <laughs> It's super weird, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like we have split personalities. Yeah, man. Like the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other shoulder. Mm-hmm. It's like, is it, I mentioned that in the, in the same podcast, like we were fucking, we were technically just primitive apes and something injected us with consciousness, like to, to try to understand it all. It's like, we're not supposed to be this smart somehow. It's weird. I like the I th- I think the mushroom theory makes a lot of sense. The stoned ape theory that um when we first became bipedal primates, we started eating like instead of like roaming the trees, we had to roam the grasslands and like imagine the rhinoceroses and shit back then, like the sizes of the mushrooms that probably came out of them. And if they were like mainly eating veggies and shit, these monkeys were tripping face all day then. Mm. They were and they just built consciousness based off of tripping face all day. And the monkey's brain grew like tripled the size, and then over the next like couple hundred thousand years, oh, which turned us turned into humans and shit. And then obviously different forms of humans over the land scape of whatever the fucking world or flat Earth or whatever the shit is, <laughs> all over the place. Then that that's how it expanded and evolved. Oh my god! I gotta tell you this. I came to a crazy. Revelation. So on the other podcast, I also mentioned the evolution theory, how I don't believe in, like, I don't think it's real. I don't think we were fish type shit. Mm. But I didn't take into consideration the literal meaning that we are the Big Bang Theory itself. We were fish in the womb. There's a stage where we look like a fish. Mm. So the Big Bang, the primordial ooze, of that explosion is the sperm touching the female's egg, creating, evolving, tadpole-ish, fish, ape-ish to human. So like the theory, the Big Bang Theory, the evolution theory. They all tie together. It actually is us. Like it's not like that we were actually like a fish in a jar. 
but that we are we were it we already were, we we literally were mm. the big bang theory mm. we are it so it blew my mind so in the other podcast i said i don't believe in evolution theory now in a sense i do because i understand that it's the it's evolution yeah the evolution theory is within us at all times yeah. cuz i was mentioning metamorphosis how cuz technically that would be metamorphosis how one stage when it's a caterpillar then it's a butterfly you know then mm. a cocoon then it's a butterfly completely different look but it's not evolution that's metamorphosis mm. that's the final stage this is our final stage so it is technically metamorphosis but the big bang the theory of that evolution and all that like we did look like fish so now i understand it's it's weird it's deep Man, deep that's shit kinda that, crazy I it never, is i never thought about it like that yeah it's deep shit that neither did i i had to say that because if i didn't say that i'm gonna forget it i just it just hit my brain again like yeah. i remembered it that shit is gnarly i noticed that over this time of covid i used it to learn a lot of shit and then when i um went to perform a bunch of songs just as a rehearsal and learn shit i um couldn't remember half the fucking words Really? It's like I filled up my brain with other shit and like emptied out all my rap lyrics. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I had to like really yeah. listen to the songs again and remember all this shit. Yeah. It's crazy how that happens. I've been I've been loading up on on rap lyrics lately, man. Especially what vibe? last year. What vibes for the next project are you thinking? Um, the next project is probably going to be called Identity Crisis. It's going to be very uh lyrical very lyrical storytelling I heard you know and just some hard beats Ooh. some some good sounds and a little bit of everything fuck yeah yeah i'm just um i'm just doing live takes i have a, a couple projects i'm sitting on more i have like during the saddest part of my life i did make an album but i haven't more. that's like one i might push but i'm thinking about connecting I have like seven different albums, so I think I'm gonna connect, take the like the best four from every every one, and make that a full like Word. project and kind of section them like by chapters and shit. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna do it like that because it all coincides. Because like I said, I was doing all mm. those remixes last year and and like kind of a year before. So like when I listen back to, I'll be like, I go open my computer for new projects, and I'm like, where's all this music that I made? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, drop fucking 70 remixes. <laughs> That's why I don't have 70 original songs, because I made 70 remixes. And wow. I remix them like Lil Wayne. Uh. Like, there's only, a f like, three out of the 70 where I, like, did what the chorus was. Yeah. You know what I mean? And everything else was just Lil Wayne, Wheezy, Wheezy type shit yeah. back in the day. The drought Let's vibes. It. Let's do it. Yeah, it was fucking fun just hopping. I hopped on country shit. I hopped on like boy band shit. Mm. <laughs> it was fucking fun. But I'm That's sitting dope. on a lot I'm sitting on a lot of shit, dude. But yeah. it's just I'm thinking of how I want to drop it because it is a weird time right now. Like like Man. I'm saying, like as far as everything and shit's not promised, so I'm just fucking dropping all of it. I don't really care. Yeah. I'm just dropping it. It's about that time, bro. Mm -hmm. I like like I'm honestly more excited to have these conversations with people to to see what's going on, what's in their brain, how what they think about life. You yeah. know, I think this is this is fucking fun. Yeah, man, being in front of the lights. But um, but yeah, we're um we're gonna go take a shot real quick. I'll show you this, and we'll be right back. I can smell the cat, I can tell it's over 10 I can't give you that when homies win friends Bridges burn the ashes, take it on the chin Burgeon in the back, brought in with the can Niggas double dealing, backstabbing, I was bleeding Bloodsuckers, leeches, scheming and deceiving Saying I was drowning, tried I couldn't breathe Now I'm cold hearted, freezing, shaking off the demons Here, what's good y'all, that was that, this is this <laughs> Um we would like to formally apologize to you motherfuckers. We got so stoned before this podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah. I zoned out hard as fuck in that yeah. one spot. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. It was all that <laughs> That's so funny. But um, that being said, I got to ask you something. I ask most of, most of the people that come here. Okay. Um, if you had to fight to the death, could you do it with this? 
Yeah, I do what I got to do. How would you do it? And your opponent has that as well. You can only use that. How would you do it? Hmm. I think I might. I think I'll probably pop its top off. It's not popping off. Don't break it. <laughs> Everybody like tries to actually do it. I think I would try to split it. No, but no, but like your guy has it and you're in a fucking corner, right? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. The guy's attacking you yeah. with this. You won't have time to like. You probably, know, I probably hit him with one of these. You know, <laughs> hit, him, hit in, him with the frisbee, hit him, like, hit him, like <laughs> hit him in the eye real quick. It's like, <sighs> then after I after I hit him in the eye, then I'll give me a second. To, but you can't use your arms at all. You would have to go pick this up. And you can only use this. this. Yeah. You got to kill him, too. That's so extra. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. He would fucking frisbee this bitch, y'all. <laughs> if I could use my arms, I would frisbee. <laughs> <Matt>. <laughs> well, that's how he would survive, yo. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, dude. Um, do, you, do you have anything you want to plug? Um... Yeah, if you haven't heard Hopeless Romantic yet, check that out. Got a lot of new music coming. Um, just keep a lookout for it. South Jersey, stand up. I know what's going on. Yeah, facts. And uh, next time he comes on, we'll make sure we get more stand. <laughs> I'll see you guys. <laughs>